Look at them, look at them. I did it too. What's up, Unconventionalists? Welcome back. Cana Dulces is a place we never even had on our radar. But when we were making our long journey from Samara, Costa Rica to San Juan del Sur, Nicaragua, we knew we were gonna have to break up the drive and stop somewhere along the way for the night. After dropping Cousin Alex off at the Liberia airport, we continued north for about an hour until we got to the Cana Dulces area. We found ourselves at a small, off the beaten path thermal resort called Boarding Ken. Can you read that sign for me, Atlas? Which word are you trying? Top. The P word? Yeah, yeah. Sound it out. Yeah, parking. All right, how about, how about this word? Can you read this word? No. And that word? I think you're gonna like it after you read it out loud. That word, that word. Read it. Hot. Hot. Er. Eh. Yeah, it's raining. Hot springs. How is it? It's good. Thanks, Miss Raquel. Okay. <laughs> As you've probably noticed already, we recorded these videos on our big winter trip, but I didn't sit down to tell you the story until we got back home. So in this video, I'm about 18 weeks pregnant, but today I'm almost 37 weeks pregnant. Belly for scale. After a few hours in the car, the boys were ready to head straight to the pool. Ooh, hot springs over there. Regular pool over here. See what's going on. Get down there, Atlas. Jump in there, Isle. I'm in the jump. Oh, big rock. Man, this place is cool. Beautiful, big. Completely empty, so it's like we own this place. That steam shower, I don't know what's going on over there, but it looks not great. <laughs> Something super special about this place was the sauna, which was like a wooden structure built on a wooden deck that sat over a naturally occurring bubbling hot pot where the steam would just come up out of the earth and go through the floorboards on the deck and come straight into the little house sauna. So there's a vent down here and super hot boiling water underneath this wooden, these wooden boards. You have to stand above it. <laughs> it, it it's toasty and not burn your toes. What do you think, boy? Whoop. What do you think, Atlas? Is it warm? It wasn't totally enclosed so the heat didn't like trap and you'd have to kind of move with the wind. But it was really neat to see how it was all totally done with my nature. The hot spring underneath us? Yeah, it's just like a bubbling hot pot. Hot pot, yeah, exactly. This is so and cool. And then as the wind blows, like it's hot over here, then it's hot over there, then it's hot in the front. You gotta kind of walk around and it burns your toes. It's kind of an experience. It's a hot, it's a steam shower that we didn't experience. <laughs> the Rincon de la Vieja volcano is very close by, so there's a lot of geothermal activity in this area. Guys, what are we getting in the mud pot? Be careful, there's a giant. Oh, it's a cold, there's a hot mud pot and a cold mud pot. On the hot one. Dad, be careful, there's like a giant spider. Giant spider? Right in That guy. Oh yeah, it's a nice looking spider. Banana spider. Hola spider. Dad, Daddy, I want to get in the hot one. Yeah, this mud's, this mud's boiling. Uh, that's too hot. Oh man. Oh yeah. Please don't trace, Mom. Now, we were kind of expecting to sit in like a big pool of mud, but what we found was actually like a giant stone container full of warm mud that we lathered up on our bodies. Oh, wow. Thank you. What's in that one? 
Are you guys ready no, to get muddy? Mud. This one's warm mud. Oh, let Good. it get a little crust yeah. up on you. Ooh. Ooh. No tocas. No. no. <laughs> yeah. Up there? Ooh. 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 Yeah. Scary. Uh, capybara. Capybara? Yeah. Really? Two mira? Yeah, capybara, seven. Two mira? Yeah. Oh my goodness. What? He saw a capybara fall into the hot spring up there and get cooked. And die? Cocinar. Oh. What do you think, Atlas? You Does it feel, feel like the Amazon? Feel good? Yeah, you guys remember this? Does this feel familiar? Yes. <laughs> what do you think, Mom? The last time we did something like this was actually in the Amazon rainforest in Brazil and I'll link that video up above so you can check out our time in the Amazon. But it was very similar where you put on the warm mud all over your body and then you let it dry until it's cracking and then you can take it off. Look at them, look at them. I did it too. <laughs> She's gonna see that in the video, look at her. I'm gonna give mom a mud grab. They're so happy about it. I think I should take my swimsuit down and do my boobs. Oh, yeah, get him out. Lady coming. Get him out, you're all alone. Hmm. <laughs> She's covered from head to toe. She knows what to do. What you got, Ayo? Guess what? That little lizard. He's stuck in the mud. We're getting crusty. Your nose. That's yeah, stepped he's, on him. He's all right, I think. That's I think. That's, that's, yeah, that's He was walking, he was, he was running, and I was walking, and it was, we collided. And then I'll pick them up, but he's he's okay. I'm pretty sure he would take off running if he wasn't scared. Oh, yep. he, just... he will, it would. But he's not afraid of Isle. Because Isle has so much kindness. Everybody say, mud bath! Mud bath! Mud bath! Mud bath! Although they do have showers here where you can rinse off, you're also able to jump directly in the hot springs, which was a great contrast because in the Amazon, we were in cold, cold water. Kids lost their patience. All right, you guys are allowed to go in that dirty one. I think maybe that one too. Yeah, 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 yeah. I watched, right? I, 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 I went in that one, it's really fun. And that other Is that water one. hot? <sighs> too hot? No. I'm crunching up. <sighs> Hello, we're at the hot spring. You can see that this is the hottest one. Oh my God, it's so sorry. The now. I don't like. How did you turn the GoPro off? Dad, that one's a cold one. That one in there. How cold? Really. <laughs> Got her. <laughs> Man, I hope it catches that color. Sunset in the mountains. Love you. I know you love me too. Excited for this family video. We got this place to ourselves. Somewhere early. Dinner with Miss Amber. Happy dinner, we made a friend. <laughs> Waking up in Costa Rica is always a magical experience, and this was our last morning waking up in Costa Rica on this trip. What did you guys find? Millipede. A live millipede. A live millipede. We found hundreds of them yesterday. Yes. And then a car. There was about 50. How many hours did you guys sleep last night? Probably like five. <laughs> you guys slept so long. We finally slept for a good amount of time. Incredible, incredible. We got to show these animals and, and those hot dogs, pools, and mud pots. saunas, mud, mud pots. <laughs> the sounds of the wildlife here are second to none. How many different kinds of birds have you seen this morning already? Uh, probably 15. 15 different kinds. Maybe 40 because the clouds are counting. We made sure to head straight to the pool because we knew we had a long travel day ahead of us to Nicaragua and we wanted to make sure the boys had plenty of time to burn off some energy before the journey. Ayo, 
You wanna go to the sauna with me? No. Let's go get sweaty. Atlas, you wanna go get sweaty? Don't burn your butt like Miss Amber. She sat down and burned her butt. Mom's demudded. No more mud, she looks all smooth. Yellow <laughs> He thinks there's something sweet going on with Isle. He flew away. We really wish we had more time at this beautiful resort. It was something we stumbled upon totally on accident. And it was easily one of like our favorite highlights from our time in Costa Rica. It was so stunning here with the hot springs and the jungle that we actually decided to shoot maternity photos here. We see how fast these clouds are moving. I wonder if you guys can catch that in the video. This is real time. We just saw a really big iguana and the kids got kind of close to it and we dove down into a hole, which makes me think there's a lot more iguanas here than we realize in these holes. Before leaving Bordenkin Thermal Resort, we spotted a few coates, the perfect ending to our Costa Rican adventure. There's another one. Oh, what is that thing? Be sure to subscribe because in our next video we will be crossing the border to Nicaragua. Until next time, keep exploring life outside the box.